Now, ever since I did my Ubuntu versus Windows 10 in VMware benchmark video, people have wondered if Windows XP is a better option than Windows 10. There seems to be this long-held popular belief that Windows XP somehow offers better gaming performance than Windows 10 or even Windows 7 in some cases. Now, I don't know if that's actually true, but Windows 10 does have a lot more processes and services running than Windows XP, so technically there should be less overhead. Now, overhead like that in a physical machine isn't that big of a deal, but in a virtual machine, it might be a big deal because, you know, everything is being virtualized, so that would mean the less stuff you have to virtualize, the better, right? But before we dive into the benchmarks, I want to show you a comparison between the two DX Diag tools. Now keep in mind that the two virtual machines are set up the exact same. I'm using my NVIDIA 750 Ti as the GPU. Both of them have 2 gigabytes of video RAM, and they both have 4 gigabytes of RAM total. And of course, they both have four processors available to them. Notice on the XP machine that the approximate total memory is only 128 megabytes, but on the Windows 10 machine, we've got about 2 gigs. And then compare the drivers section. The DLLs are different and the version's different. So basically what this means is these are two totally different drivers. Now, what does that mean in terms of gaming performance? Well, you're about to find out. Given that we're only two benchmarks in and I'm showing you the results, kind of gives you an idea of where this benchmark went. You can see in the Tropics benchmark in the background that the XP driver is having a really difficult time rendering the textures or the shadows or the lights or something. And in the Tomb Raider benchmark, you may have noticed some weird artifacts happening in Lara's model. I wanted to use CSGO as a benchmark, but for whatever reason, the XP driver just simply doesn't work with it. I also wanted to use the Valley benchmark, but on XP I was getting between 5 and 10 frames a second. I didn't think that would make a very good benchmark. So that's going to wrap this benchmark up, and I hope it answers the question whether or not XP is a better option for playing games on Linux via virtualization. So I hope you liked the video. Leave me your comments and thoughts below. Be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more benchmarks.